do you think is better, Benzema or Lewandowski? Mm, that is a very, like, very good what question. What are we saying, career-wise or right now? Yeah, and just, overall, well, overall, throughout well, their overall, careers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just throughout overall, their careers. Like, you know, exactly. Like, of course, Thanks. Benzema's won the Ballon d'Or, but it's also... I have my answer. You know, I th- th- should have also won it. Yeah, he yeah. should have won it, but that was like two years ago. Yeah, exactly. I think wasn't Benzema it, is... A wasn't it last player. year? Was it last Overall, year? Overall, it was during COVID when they cancelled it. 2020. So that you should have won the Ballon d'Or. It was it 2020? Yeah. It was it 21, no? Messi won it the year later. No? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, God. I... You know, Benzema, I, Benzema is the better player overall. Uh, yeah, My he's opinion. the better overall player, but I think Lewandowski is a better striker. I think, yeah. yeah, I think Lewandowski is your typical number nine, your box exactly. standard he number is. nine. He knows how to finish. He always finds the back of the net. Yeah, but it's yeah. also to do with the system he played with Bayern. Like, Bayern was built around him. But even then, it was... Scored a lot. He's, yeah, he's, he's doing he scored well. a lot. I mean, how many yeah. goals? I'm going to... I think this this proved that I think him moving to Barcelona and him still outscoring Benzema has proved that he is deserved of the title. Yeah, I mean he's got, best he's got eleven line. goals, three three assists in ten games. You know, to fucking fourteen contributions. Yeah, he's, and, he's, and, and, I mean, yeah, he's, he's not getting That's, younger like, either. In in the Ballon d'Or um, celebration, whatever the call, he was the one who who won best striker, but he went didn't win the Ballon d'Or. Very weird. Yes, it was, is. Yeah, it's because Benzema won more Benzema. with this club. But, yeah, but, but it's because because Benzema. But he's won a striker titles. as well. Like because Benzema won titles, you know. But he's like, a striker yeah, as well. Like, but that's stupid. Yeah, yeah. If Benzema yeah. wins the Ballon d'Or, it's he true. should be it's the best true. striker I, as well. I I I, I, I agree. It's stupid. But yeah, it's just, it's good, it should be. Ballon d'Or has been like all like, like I don't know how they come up with these things, bro. No, but when you honestly, I think now as as we're talking about it now, we do agree that Benzema is no sorry Lewandowski is a better striker. But Benzema yes. is a better player. Yes, yes, yes. I think uh, I yeah. agree. And I mean, I, I, I think the Ballon d'Or got it right to give it to Benzema this year. I mean... Oh, 100%. Like, one I one think of the first things that got right <laughs> in a long time. In a while. <laughs> he actually scored but, so many goals, man. Like uh-huh, and so and many yeah. important, important... Yeah, his so impact many, bro, was all impact goals. All, game-changing that, goals. I was talking... Yeah, exactly. I was talking with uh, our, our fraud uh, co-host uh, the other day about like... The Real Madrid's Champions League run last year was a madness. Like, yeah, it's, they it's had the crazy. hardest path. It was like, the best run I've seen. Yes, yes. and the best 100%. run I've seen, and maybe even best run ever. Even like just the teams they played were difficult teams, and the way they won was almost like last minute crazy, like crazy game. Yeah, it was a madness. Like the City was game was mental, PSG was mental. Yeah, that it was, was just Chelsea, all fucking unbelievable Liverpool. games. Every single think, game. Yeah, was I think. Really yeah, I think every single game they lost in the first leg, and then they made it back in the second yeah, leg. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's and fucking. Back, and also mental. like on the ninetieth minute, or like you know, yeah. in the final ten minutes. Classic. Yeah, it's just no. Ancelotti was raising his eyebrow and shit. Yeah, <laughs> this guy should be also, doing it from the start. I, I saw, I saw another meme about the Ballon d'Or. Do you know how like the actual voting works for the Ballon d'Or? So it's like it was like uh, players. Yeah. No. Voting? Yeah, like, players. They have like their they rank all the, their top three. I think. I don't know how that works. Yeah, yes, oh, yes, countries. Uh, but, but yes, exactly. So the way it works is that each country votes for a journalist. I don't know how they do that. I guess they get together and just like vote for a journalist. And that journalist, whoever wins that vote for each country, becomes the journalist who makes the vote on behalf of the country. Oh, really? And, and that's how it works. And I saw that Sri how, Lanka... So it's not even really the players that are choosing, and not the people that are choosing it. No, it's like, they, yeah, it's, it's weird. But I'm, I'm sure they, that's only maybe one set. I'm pretty sure the players get to vote as well on who's the best player. Like, I think this is just how the like journalists or the countries do it. I think yeah, the players definitely like, have a vote. I think so. On FM, you get to vote. So I don't yes. know how it is. <laughs> it's, quite clapped, it's quite clapped that you're choosing someone that's never played. Yes, yes. That, that, that's that's, that's yeah. true. It's it's just, eh, you know, what else are you going to do? I guess you could get it up to the people, but there's, like people are stupid as well. You know, like there's a lot of people who are super biased and would vote for like, I don't yeah. know. Also, this is uh, Benzema winning. It was the second biggest margin. Of winning the Ballon d'Or, the first was Ronaldo. Actually, yeah, in 2016. Yeah, really? Yeah, he got. He was like 300 and so, I can't remember the exact number, but 300 and something points he won by. And the number one is Ronaldo, who won by 400 and something points. Damn. I remember a close one was I was actually looking at it recently. Was the Van Dyke Messi one, where Messi won it, but Van Dyke was like 
yeah, yeah. 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 No, this was a line right, slide. Let me, let me, let, sorry, let me read this to you because I want to finish this, like, Ballon d'Or thing. So, the Sri Lankan journalist that was voted into the thing, and I'll just, I have the 2017, 2018, and 2019 ones right now in front of me. In 2017, his top five was Bonucci, De Gea, Falcao, Hazard, and Kane. In 2018, it was Hazard, Firmino, Pogba, Ronaldo, Kane. In 2019, it was Trent, Aubameyang, Griezmann, Lewandowski, and Ter Stegen. I don't think they just refused know to put in Ronaldo and Messi. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Oh, or me, me and Sam said that he's the only journalist in Sri Lanka and he just votes himself in. And he <laughs> he's the only one who's watching football in Sri Lanka. <laughs> Alright, so we agree that Benzema is the better overall player, but Lewandowski yes. better shot. Yeah, better shot. I, I, do agree. I do agree. Who would you rather have in your team? Like, for example, Benzema. United and Milan. You'd rather have Benzema? Benzema. Yeah, I don't ben know. I, would ra- I think I'd rather have Lewandowski. United, man, we don't create yeah, any chances. United, bro. No, I would rather have We don't Oscar. create any chances, bro. He's starving. <laughs> we, we, we start creating chances, Ericsson, no, Bruno. Okay, recent, that's the only recent, it's been like the last two years. That doesn't count. Yeah, yeah, doesn't that's count. what I mean. Like now, with our current manager, with that Tiki Taka mentality. Bro. I was still saying, I was still saying Benzema. Yeah, oh, you know better. Benzema? Oh, yeah, you know what else I saw? Benzema is the second oldest player to ever win the, the Ballon d'Or. Really? really? Who's, the yeah. oldest? Who's the oldest? Uh, oh, I don't remember. Ronaldo? Some guy was, Ronaldo, no, some guy was like 40 years old. 40? Wait, wait, let's see, yeah. let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oldest Ballon d'Or winner. Oldest Ballon d'Or winner. Uh, Di Stefano, I think. Di Stefano? Uh, Nedved. Ste- no, no, Di Stefano is seventh. Let me get to it. Stanley Matthews, 41 years. Yeah, hello there. Yeah. Bro, <laughs> Stanley <laughs> Matthews. Mad. Yashin was 34. Damn, I didn't know he won the Ballon d'Or. Is, I, like you never think about you never think about that about Ben. No, no, not at yeah, all. That's mad. It, but even Modric is quite now ages Modric old. is quite old when he won it as well. Yeah, oh. Modric was uh, I think fifth on that list. I just saw him. Oh. He was like 33 or something. But it's it also messy. Like, we gotta know that now people like play till a lot later. Like the prime has yeah. shifted from like the prime is players know how to utilize their bodies. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, to take care of their bodies, yeah. Exactly, exactly. And exactly. not really take care of the bodies, it's just a style of play. Exactly. Like Benzema. Yeah. 